Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 2 of Road to Pro Bulk Series. Today I'm going to be filming a full day of eating for you guys. Um, I was thinking of putting a workout in it, but I'm specifically going to keep it to a full day of eating just so you guys can see how I'm eating right now, what's going into my body. Going to do a little physique update, show you guys how much I weigh. If you guys are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and if you're feeling generous, like this video. Sit back, relax and enjoy this video. So I'm weighing 173.6 this morning and we're officially about two weeks into the bulk. So we're still looking pretty good, pretty lean. Um, abs are still there obviously as you guys can see, but um, we're gonna be pushing more food soon in the next couple weeks and get that scale up. So I'm gonna head down, have my first meal and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so here we have meal one. We have an egg omelet with two whole eggs, um, one cup of egg whites, and then on the side, I usually have, I typically have 60 grams of oats with some berries and a little bit of uh, almond butter. But today I decided to go with a bagel because I like to switch it up. Right here I have my um, daily greens. I take these every morning. Here I have my multivitamin from Vita HD. I take five caps of this also every morning to maintain health and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll catch you guys in the next meal. So hey guys, here, I'm here at meal two. This is actually my pre-workout meal. So I got my 70 grams of rising grinds or same thing as cream and rice pretty much. But um, yeah, the rising grinds they actually don't have in Canada for those of you that are watching from Canada. So it's only from the States. I get it at my gym because um, they bring it in from the States. But this stuff is addicting. Yeah, I have this every single day as my pre-workout meal. And then I put in some stevia drops for some flavor, some sugar-free maple syrup in there too. Sometimes I switch it up. I'll put in cinnamon instead or something. And then um, I sprinkle a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna head to the gym and crush some arms. See you guys in a bit. Boom, so here we have it. This is my post-workout meal. Um, I got six ounces of chicken in here, 225 grams of white rice, and I got a quarter of an um, onion cut up, and then I have my apple post-workout every day, and of course, can't forget, sugar-free ketchup loaded on there. And we're running out. Very unfortunate. But yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about following a diet plan. Most people think like following a diet plan can get boring and like repetitive and stuff. Yeah, like it can if you're just, if you're not being creative with it. Like the biggest thing is you gotta get creative with it. In the kitchen, you gotta change up your seasonings every once in a while, change up the condiments you're using, um, add in different kinds of veggies, make stuff taste different. You know, sometimes like I'll have this chicken rice Onions, sometimes I'll make it like a chicken little teriyaki bowl. I'll put in like a little bit of soy sauce, um, teriyaki sauce, make it with like some mushrooms. And like, I like to change it up, you know? It's like, yeah, it, if, if you're not being creative, I agree, it will get boring and eating this stuff all the fucking time will get boring. Chicken always tastes the same, rice always tastes the same, but you can change the way it tastes, trust me. 
And here we are. We're here with meal four, I believe. Yeah, so this is probably the most boring meal of the day. Well, actually, I make it boring. You don't have to. But um, for this meal, I have a choice of fish or chicken again, and then either some sweet potato or rice. But I'm just lazy today, so I'm just having rice and chicken because it's already made. So yeah, um, I prep all my proteins, usually like every three, four days, and then I just put it in the fridge so I don't have to cook chicken or fish or beef like six times a day. So yeah, I prep it like every few days, and my rice too, I just make like 16 cups of rice or whatever every couple days, and then just leave that in the fridge, and then I always put in like fresh veggies and stuff in my other meals just, and I also don't, I undercook my protein every time, so when I eat it, I reheat it in the pan or like refry it, usually make like stir fry or whatever I'm making like uh, my chicken rice bowls and stuff. If you guys want to see a meal prep video on that, let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah, so this is meal five. Chicken and rice, bodybuilder's favorite meal. Yep, gonna enjoy this and then catch you guys for dinner. Hey guys, we're back here with meal five. So here I have the monster mash, as you guys can see. So I got 100 grams of rice, um, 150 grams of sweet potato, and I got six ounces of lean ground beef. And then I put some uh, salt, pepper, and then some garlic powder on it, and then load it with sugar-free ketchup. So this is my fifth meal. And then usually I have like a salad or something on the side, but today I'm just too lazy to uh, make that. So. Gonna skip that step and just have a green shake or something later. But uh, yeah, it's just my standard uh, bulking diet right now for the first couple weeks as we are still only a month and a week out of the uh, show. So I'm not trying to put on too much fat and I can't increase the calories that quick. But probably in the next couple weeks, the calories will be going up quite a bit. I didn't calculate um, the greens. So just to let you guys know the macros might be a little bit off. Uh, I think the calories are probably a little bit off. But um, cause I was tracking my food using my fitness pal, but I couldn't find like the exact version of what I was eating to put into there. So I was just taking like generic ones or the ones off the top of the list. Obviously the same type of food, but um, it might vary a little bit, but yeah. I also didn't add in um, my post-workout shake in there, but I'll make sure to get that in for you guys in the next video. Also my pre-workouts and all the other supplements I take. So this is my fifth meal. I'm gonna enjoy this and then get you guys later. here and we're finally back with meal number six which is the last meal of the day so I have um, 245 grams of yogurt now zero percent so no fat Greek yogurt I have a little bit of blueberries and 20 grams of granola and yeah half a scoop of whey isolate and this is my last meal for the day so yeah I eat six meals every single day um, I have three different meal plans so standard training days um, was just like today. This is what I eat most of the time and then twice a week I have a high day my carbs are up 
and then once a week on my rest day I have a low day where my carbs go down but protein doesn't change it stays the same yep if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash the like button if you guys are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications so you know when I post and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace